today's video, I will be talking about the different COVID-19 vaccines which are available in India. Uh, so there are three of them right now. We have uh, Covishield, Covaxin and uh, Corbivax for the pediatric age group of you know, 12 to 14. So under each vaccine, what we need to know is about what is the type of vaccine which is there, number one. Uh, number two, we need to know what is the schedule of that vaccine, what are the probable adverse events following immunization. The first one here is um, Covishield. So Covishield, what type of vaccine is it? It is actually a viral vector vaccine. So what it means is that this has particles of adenovirus, okay? And they start expressing the COVID-19 antigens on its surface. So that is how we get immunity against coronavirus, all right? Now this vaccine, so as you can see here, I have a vial that is a 5 ml and one vial can be used to vaccinate 10 people. So while vaccinating them, we take a syringe which has 0.5 ml of this vaccine and we inject it on the deltoid. So here, uh, which is an intramuscular route of uh, injection. Uh, so this blue vial here is that of Covaxin. Covaxin is a killed vaccine. So what it has is inactivated virus particles, which is what gives us immunity from the infection. Now, as you can see here, this is like a bigger vial compared to that of Covishield. So this is actually having 10 ml of vaccine in it. It is used to vaccinate 20 people and the dosage remains the same. So 0.5 ml every person gets and it is intramuscular route of uh, injection through the deltoid is what we administer this vaccine. Now this vaccine here, one, uh, when it started, you could give it for 18 years and above. Now it's also been approved for 15 to 18 year old uh, individuals as well. So, uh, the third vaccine, that has been approved is Corbivax. Now Corbivax has been approved for use between 12 to 14 year old children. Uh, this vaccine actually has protein subunit particles in them. Right? So again, the route of administration stays the same. It is uh, intramuscular into the deltoid. And the vial of Corbivax again is a 10 ml vial. So it means 20 people get vaccinated through one vial. And again, 0.5 ml is what goes into uh, an individual. Right. So for Covishield, Covaxin and for Corbivax, you start with like the first two doses. The first dose, once you have completed taking that, there is a gap of around 28 days or four weeks. Now for Covishield, in, you know, instead of just four weeks, they have extended it up to a period of 12 weeks after which you can get the second dose. Now, uh, this year onwards, in the fifth phase of vaccination in our country, we have what is called as the booster dose as well. So after the second dose has been taken, you leave a gap of nine months and then we'll be taking what is the booster dose. So that is about the schedule regarding these vaccines. Vaccines. The last segment is about uh, adverse events following immunization. So as healthcare workers, you know, a lot of people will come with questions as to, you know, what are the complications which can happen following the vaccine. I'm scared to take the vaccine because, you know, I've heard so and so things happening uh, in the news. So this is where you need to know that, uh, see, there are common side effects which can happen, okay? That means person can have body pain, person can develop pain at the site of injection. Sometimes there may be redness at that particular site. Uh, there can be joint pain sometimes, fever, flu-like symptoms. These can happen after taking the vaccine, which is not of, you know, people shouldn't be too worried about it because in case that happens, you can just take a paracetamol. But very rare circumstances, you know, it has been noted that in COVID shield, you know, sometimes a person can throw up clots. So then in that case, the warning signs would be what, like if a person complains of headache, you know, blurring of vision or throws up seizures, and sometimes if they're having difficulty in breathing, chest pain, abdominal pain, which is quite persistent, or if they have pain in their calves, you know, suggestive of DVT, in that case, they should definitely hurry up to the doctor. But as mentioned, this is like a very rare, uh, you know, adverse event uh, after immunization. 